Alright, cut, let's move on. Alright, we're here in uh, Foster at the moment. Uh, we're shooting the film a step apart. Alright, before we get into the rest of the video, let me explain some backstory of the story real quick. So, a step apart is a story that I've been wanting to make for, you know, probably five years, and it's been influenced by my own childhood. A Step Apart really follows the perspective of Jamie, a 10-year-old country boy who has grown up with his stepbrother, Will, as they struggle with not only the impending divorce of both their parents, but also the fear of losing each other during that difficult time. You know, the film really focuses on childhood trauma and the weight of responsibility that children place on themselves. And yeah, it's a story that I've been wanting to make for a while, and I'm very happy that I had the opportunity to do so. So yeah, let's get back into the video. So this is the first day, we've woken up bright and early to start planning some shots. We've got a great crew coming down, all actors are ready to go. So yeah, we're shooting in about, I don't have a watch, so maybe two hours, three, maybe one hour, I don't know. But we'll, we'll figure it out. Where's Chloe? I need Chloe to tell me when we're shooting. But, a step apart, day one, let's go. Cool, so yeah, when that's done, set up your monitor and it'll be pretty yeah. sweet. Cool. Today we're on the Ari Alexa Mini LF. Thank you to <laughs> Share Gear. Um, beautiful camera, we're shooting open gate the whole shoot. So we've just unloaded the van and the rest of the cars. We've got everything sort of in a neat pile. We've got sort of camera support, all camera related items, monitors, polyfocus, that sort of stuff. All our diffusion, scrims, negative, all that sort of stuff. All our lights, bunch of sky panels, and then a hell of a lot of C-stands, booms, a few combos, and then lots of shop bags. So the car suspension is thanking us right now. So I'm parked up in the easy rig now. I've got the camera here. Uh, we've set up a 12 by 12 uh, diffusion for the sun. We're pretty much shooting the whole scene here. We'll be here till about four something. So it's good. It's all, we're all staying in the same spot. Yeah, I'm keen. This feels good. And uh, let's get it done. AD today. Got my shot list. Um, I'm really excited and I think this will go. <laughs> it will go to plan. I'm hoping it will go to plan. And um, yeah, everyone has fun. I'm in charge Daniel? now. I get to yell at Ben. Hey, that's not a bad thing. I yell at Ben. Okay. We just finished that scene and it is dinner time. So what's for dinner? Chicken schnitty. Chicken schnitty. Max, can you do your... He goes... Nah, they'd be sleeping for that one. Yeah, true. Have you heard it? This is Max asleep last night. Max on his head. Stitch up. It's lit. All right, so we're doing a night scene. We're emulating moonlight with about four lights, but we have to keep it realistic somewhat still. So we've got our source there. That's the Nova. we are through a scrim. So we're gonna have this as like a hard moonlight um, source as well. Then we've got this, which is gonna be moonlight hidden in the background. And um, I don't know, we'll probably use only three lights. Um, we'll, you know, tint it blue on, on, the, um, on the camera. And yeah, hopefully it looks natural. We'll see, we'll have, we'll have a look. So it's 
day two, we're shooting pretty much all inside today, all in the kitchen and in this dining room here. We're just setting up the shot for uh, the morning scene um, after the main characters had a big fight between the parents. Uh, so yeah. Pretty much the whole day we're shooting in the dining room. So uh, it's a pretty chill day. We're going till pretty late tonight, I think. I think 11.30 p.m. Uh, right now it's about 10, 10 a.m. So it's a long day, but that's okay because there's a few breaks in between. Ben and I will probably have to go get some uh, landscape shops in that time, but um, yeah, we're just setting up and uh, we're ready for a chiller day, so let's do it. Today we are doing a morning interior to start off with. So what we've got here is just the Aperture 300X pushing through the window, just some nice hard morning light. And the Aperture 300D on spotlight now, just kind of hidden through here, punching through. That's giving this nice beam of light coming through here. That's giving heaps of dimension and shape to the scene. This uh, Aperture Nova here, and that's gridded and that's just giving a nice soft light. We're just filling everything in. And we've got this little right, sneaky like Dito here, pushing into that door there. And that's just basically finishing that line of light. So it's giving the shape to the rest of the scene. Yeah, that's the light. Mate, I'm just dev I'm just a valet. I ain't, I ain't get this fixed. We are getting landscape shots of the town. This will be the very start of the film. Uh, okay, we're on break though at the moment, so we're just going out to get all the shots. Um, it's a little bit foggy, but that's all right. We're gonna make it work. So <clears throat> we'll chuck it on sticks. Get a bunch of just like static wide shots. Um, yeah, we'll see what we can get. It's a bit of a running gun Do sort of thing. Do we want the Land Cruiser driving through? He's like, is there any way, like... No! Yes, we have some, some Josh. <laughs> it worked, nice. Alright, so this is uh, the dinner scene where they tell the kids they're getting divorced. Uh, well, spoiler, I guess, but um, we've got, we forgot our lantern. So we had to sort of jury rig something up using the diffusion from the lantern, just some black felt. And then we've got this scrim just to soften it up. Uh, PM. That's day two complete. Uh, that was a wrap on Justin, who's over there. He's done for the day, <laughs> done for the whole shoot actually. But yeah, it was a great uh, second day. We'll do it to day three tomorrow, or five after that. All right, we're on day three on a step apart. Uh, we're pretty much doing all the bedroom scenes today, so it's going to be a pretty chill and easy day. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Um, yeah. Hi, I'm Eloise and I'm the production designer. At the yeah. moment, we're just setting the bedroom. We're filling it with all sorts of things you would typically find in a kids' bedroom. So we've got books, we've got a cricket bat, we've got the toy trucks that they play with, plus of water, and we're just putting posters on the wall at the moment that we've printed out as well. All right, so we're setting up right now for the jib shot. Um, pretty much what this is, is the two boys are lying in their single beds each. And we've got a top-down shot from the jib of the two boys just lying, looking up at the ceiling. So. That'll sort of match the other shot that we had in the uh, in the field the other night, and um, yeah, so it'll be it'll be cool. It'll be cool. It's a lot of setup, but we'll be right. Should just. We 
getting single shots of both the boys from side on. And, um, but because it's such a small room, <clears throat> we've had to cheat it. So we're moving one bed out each time and um, just getting that side shot because if there was a bed here, I wouldn't be able to fit. So we're just lighting uh, for moonlight with a bit of uh, interior warm light. So we've got this aperture and over 300 with uh, a softbox and so um, doing, and then a bit of room sure fill there. there. And then uh, we've got a light so pretty much just sitting up doors there closed. As, a, as a fake kind of room light. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, you're going to pretend that. Eight, one, three. It's, a, it's like a close up of them grabbing the keys. It's like literally a close up. And then, oh, we just stay on this, pretty much. Oh. Like it's a close up of them grabbing the keys, bang, and then we go to the wide of them opening the door, bang, them. Okay, so right now, uh, we've set up the Nova to have a bunch of moonlight coming through, and they're picking up the keys, so we're getting a close up in that. We're chucking in the spotlight mount to essentially put this little bit of light just on the key so your eyes are drawn to it in the shot. It may not be natural, but it looks. Bossy. We just wrapped day three, all done, two days to go. So we got two big days left, three out of three, all successful so far, so two more days to go, let's do it. Are the lenses in your car? Okay, cool. Day four, we're trying to capture this sunset, um, but we are hoping the actors rock up in time, which is in 15 minutes, so we can catch them waking up. So pretty much at the moment, we're setting up equipment and just waiting for the actors to rock up. So let's see what happens. Yeah, we got a big day today. Clothes. We got to shoot it out here at the wind farm, yeah. the glorious tour of wind farm, yeah. and then we got to go into town and tour up. We're doing a big Wendy. scene with cars and shutting down streets and all that fun stuff. As you can tell, I'm very excited. Hello, I'm Chloe. Uh, it's currently 7:16 in the morning. We jumped an electric fence today. Um, yeah, let's kick it. I don't know. Awesome. What else do we say? That was great. Like, yeah. Alright, day four, porcelain, jokes. Day four, step apart, let's get it done. <laughs> so what we did before was we got a slate of the, uh, oh, the sun, oh, sunrise yeah, sky um, because the kids weren't here yet, so we just got a still slate of that. Now, once, once the sun's come up a bit more, we've had to uh, get our 12 by and dip them off. And what we can do in post is hopefully uh, comp them out and paste them right into that uh, sunrise shot. I don't know how it'll work. I got high hopes though. I'll probably be the one having to do it as well. I can. So yeah, we'll get a job. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, we're about to shoot scene 20, the last scene of the film. Then we're having a little break, and then for the rest, we're blocking off this whole town. This is going to be a big, what is it, like a big, how big 16 is the truck? 16-wheeler. 16 16-wheeler 16 coming through, so a bit of logistics going on, which is Maxi's specialty. Loves um, logistics loves logistics. And he also loves a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's, Nick's a uh, boy scout, so he's going to tie... <laughs> He's gonna, tie, he's gonna tie a can to the car, make sure he doesn't come out. We've got a harness and everything, so. Um, Hosting. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'd bit of an event. A bit of an event. Yeah. Bit of an event, yeah. Taking over, that's what we're doing. We're taking over the town. So. What we just did, we just got um, through the back of the car, um, looking through the windscreen, the truck driving past. So we got a couple takes of that. Um, so that looked really good. Now what we're doing is we're swapping the camera around to look out the back window as the truck comes past again. So you'll see it leaving. Yeah, we're rigging up the camera. It'll be a tight squeeze, but we'll get it done. Daddy laughing at Get Everything went pretty smoothly. Oh, no one got angry. All the town folk very nice. We're chilling. We've got one more shot. That's it. <laughs> Beautiful done. That's a wrap on day four. <laughs> day four is done. <laughs> From a side. It's a wrap on day four. It's a wrap on day four. Woo! So it's day five, final day. We're out on the wind farm in Tura. And we're shooting scene 11 of the film. Um, we're about halfway through it. I'm pretty much shooting all here for the rest of the day, um, which is exciting. But yeah, day five, looking forward to wrapping, which is going to be good. Everything's been working so perfectly so far, so I'm very happy. We're just getting the walking shots of the boys having their conversation. Blanche is spotting me, make sure I don't step in cow dung. Actually directing you to the cow dung. Yeah. So yeah. I've actually stepped in it already. Alright, let's get let's get our uh, frame up. But we're getting frame up. So 
we're just um, we're building, building a track out of pot potting mix. We've and carved yeah. out little um, chalk wheels with wooden spoons, and and now we're just adding more soil to around the grass. Yeah, the soil that's natural different. is really pale, so we need to make it look like look the like soil that soil they've everywhere. dug from is this color. <laughs> so we are with Cameron Mitchell and Jordan Blanche today, and uh, why don't you say hello, guys? Hello, hello. guys. Thank you. Um, that'll be all. Cheers. Second last shot of the uh, shoot. One more to go after this. Thank you. Did you put zeros in front of Yeah. Alright, bit Good. high. Good. Sound? Yeah. Camera? Call, Call it. 411, huh? And frame. Action! Yeah. This, this is, is the last shot. Uh, we've set the camera up to be level with this balcony. And uh, we're just going to see the boys come through the uh, back door of the house. Yo, that looks um, good. It does, hey? Yeah. They're walking in from the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, happy I really like it. Yeah, sweet. Let's do it. Call it. 422. Ma. Alright, cut. And that is a wrap. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say a massive thank you to every single person uh, that has been a part of this project from pre-production to production, even now in post-production. This story wouldn't be able to be told without everyone involved. And it was just so incredible to see everyone so passionate about the project and putting you know, their own little piece into this story. And I can't wait to see it all come together on the big screen, you know, hopefully very soon. So just again, I just wanna say thank you to everyone involved. This is gonna be something incredible and I, I yeah, can't wait, to, can't wait for what's to come with this film. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Cut it there, it's done. Let's go.